well, it's that kind of video. <laughs> a little bit of an awkward intro. Anyway, what is going on, guys? Um, it's Brando here, and this is kind of cool because I am a very introverted and kind of extroverted person, a mix of both, um, but very, very introverted. I mean, when it comes to meeting new people, I'm very shy, timid, and uh, I remember it was really, really bad about like four, four years ago now, um, back when I was like, you know, I think I was 18, 19 years old. Um, it was about 18 years old, and I was a very shy guy. I mean, talking to new people, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, I was just very, very shy. I couldn't look you in the eyes. Um, I couldn't really hold a conversation. I was just very socially awkward. And what I decided to do was change that. You know, I didn't want to live with that. I wanted to become a master of at least socializing with people who I didn't know. And even I did know and just being able to start a conversation and have a very fluent conversation with a human being. And I think as humans, we all want that and we all crave that. But as introverts, you know, it's very hard. And if you're not an introvert, you're an extrovert, it's kind of hard to relate in this video. But chances are you're watching this because you're very introverted. You know, you'd rather be in, the, in, in your house watching a movie than going out and going to like the bar or the club or socializing or, or going and doing stuff that you probably wouldn't normally do when it comes to like human interaction. No, thank you. You know, but um, the, the number one rule I can tell you guys is you have to really want it. If you don't want it and you don't have a desire as to why you want to overcome your social awkwardness or just being socially awkward in general, then it will not change. And for me, a good example of this was, uh, you know, really talking to girls, you know, going back when I was 18, had a tough time talking to girls throughout all of like high school and stuff. But what I ended up doing was I ended up getting around people like uh, successful business owners and entrepreneurs because they're, they're always people that like speak in front of audiences and groups. And I always looked up to people who could do that and, and, public figures. I looked up to people who were, who were doing that. So I really started to study people like that because um, they seemed to talk fluently. They weren't really socially awkward. And I started to study that. And then I started to create my own habits with that. And I decided, you know, there happened to be somebody that I really liked. There was a girl I really did like, I had a crush on, and I didn't want to be awkward with this person. I wanted to make it work. So what I ended up doing Okay, and you guys can apply this, guys and ladies can apply this in their own manner when it comes to approaching a person that you're either attracted to or a group of people. You know, don't go in worrying about what's going to happen. Don't go in thinking you're going to be awkward or you won't hold a conversation. All right, go in without thinking about any of that, just thinking, I want to meet this interesting individual. I want to get to talking, I want to get talking with this interesting individual about life, about career, about, you know, food. I want to get to know this individual. All right. You'll be less socially awkward if you don't overthink it. And then, okay, what you do is if you have that little resistance, okay, you're kind of motivated. You have a big reason why. Like for me, I wanted to be able to make this conversation work with this girl I had kind of a crush on, I was attracted to. So what I did was I made a five second rule. All right, I said, okay, I'm gonna count to five or I'm gonna count to 10. And as soon as I count, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go approach them. Okay, so I had to push myself over that edge. And you have to do that because getting out of being socially awkward comes with practice. You can't sit on the sidelines and become a pro NBA player. You have to play the game to get better, to score better. Does that make sense? So you have to go and practice. You have to make yourself look like an idiot and be a little bit awkward in the beginning to, be get, to get yourself to a better place. So I went, I counted to five, I was like one, I counted in my head. I didn't go like one, two, three. I said like one, two, three, four, five. And then I pushed myself to go approach this girl. And we had a really good conversation. It was very fluent, but I had a big reason why. I was attracted to them. I wanted to know who they were. I wanted to know all about them. I had a big motive to get out of my awkwardness. And it helped me because then after I talked to this person, it then allowed me to feel a little bit better about myself to go talk to a group of people that I didn't know. And I did that again. All right. And then I practiced that every single time. But sometimes when you feel that resistance, just count yourself down. That's the best tip I can give you. But also make sure you have a big reason why, a big motive why. If you don't have a motive why, you won't do it. All right. It's like NBA players. If you don't want to be an NBA player, you won't be one. You don't have a reason why you won't do it. OK, so I hope this makes sense, guys and girls out there um, in the realms of things. That's the simplicity that from my experiences, I can only share to you. And um, yeah, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. 
And if you guys want to find out a little bit more about myself and how I was really able to step out of being socially awkward, um, being able to be a little bit more independent, codependent, I guess you could say, when it comes down to socializing and being able to be financially free at the same time, it was because of business. And if you want to learn more about how I was able to get into business and online internet entrepreneurship, then uh, I'll leave a link down below to my website. There's a five video training series walking you through how I was able to go from you know socially awkward working at a restaurant 40 hours a week to in a couple months creating a full-time income business online. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, go check it out. Link will be in the description. But other than that, guys, I'm out. Peace.